To First Things First, I'm Jenna Wolf. That's the Hall of Famer Chris Carter. That is Nick Wright. This is Spicy Friday, we like to call here at First Things First. No idea what it means, but no I No one told, does. No one it's knows. It's one of Chris's many inventions that we just smile and go along with. And we go for it. It is Friday. We made it through a week. We had some fun Thursday mm -hmm. night football last night. Yeah. I mean, it was a good rivalry. The teams aren't in the same place, but it was a fun game. We're going to discuss that and so much more. But we are going to start with a different aspect of the NFL after a week of increased NFL pregame demonstrations. We're talking Colin Kaepernick. Players, uh, players league-wide knelt in response to criticism from the president. Many have wondered when or if Colin Kaepernick would resurface in the NFL. Yesterday, Panthers quarterback Cam Newton spoke about the movement. Many say Kaepernick started. You know, my hat goes off to the Colin Kaepernicks of the world who, who you know, he's, he's made the ultimate sacrifice. And I respect that wholeheartedly. And I, I, I can't I can't let a moment go by with, without shedding light to that. You know, a person that does have the talent to play, a person that should be in this league. Uh, but I feel as if he's he's not getting his just due because of his 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 views. But he that's a legend right there. Cam Newton, one of a number of players who have come out in recent weeks in support of Colin Kaepernick. Nick, I'm curious, what, what was your reaction to his comments? Well, first of all, I was curious to hear it from Cam. Cam, mm -hmm. despite being not only one of the faces of the league, but this is obviously a story that is cloaked in race, Cam being one of the two most prominent black quarterbacks in the league, has sat this one out for the most part. Yes. He's been a guy that has not, I think part of that has to do with the man that owns the team, Jerry Richardson. I think part of that might have to do with where his team is located. And it might have to do with the fact that Cam, much like other prominent athletes of the past, might just not have strong opinions on this stuff and say, I am here to play football. I am not equipped to have this discussion. So Cam coming out in support of Kaepernick surprised me. Now, people I know, because people are disingenuous with things, they are going to seize on the fact that he said the ultimate sacrifice. And the ultimate sacrifice in, uh, in, life. in life or in a military sense is always talking about soldiers that die. Right. So if we can, that was maybe a poor choice of words. But what he meant, well, I the, think. The ultimate sacrifice as an athlete. There you go. That's exactly what I was going to say. The ultimate professional sacrifice the yes. ultimate sacrifice that a football player can make which is taking a stand that Kaepernick knew could cost him his job I don't think he thought it would cost him his job and I've been thinking a lot lately about what our friend Jenna Wolf keeps mentioning because other people are mentioning as well why won't Cap talk how could at this point if he's unemployed. At this point. At this point. At this point. At this point and that's why I won't he saying. talk? Why, why won't he talk? When everyone else seems to. When talk. everyone else is, and when it would appear he has nothing to lose. Right? right. I yep. mean, he's, he's, not, he's not employed. And I think Colin Kaepernick is, and it's something that I've grown to, I think, respect even more, is he is, it would appear, making the point, I'm not going to kiss any rings. And I am not going to ask for my job back because I shouldn't have to. And if I don't get a job, it only makes my protest, my cause, resonate more. And so I, Colin told you he wants to play football. Yes. He, you told us he's in football shape. Yeah, he's in amazing shape. He, 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 go ahead. I'm wants sorry. To play, well, now we know he wants to play NFL football. He wants to play NFL football. He doesn't right. want to play football. He only wants to play in the NFL. Well, that's, that's, I, there's. And the backstory is just that. It's a lot of guys that would play in the NBA, but not go, not go to okay. Europe. Well, I'm not right. talking about a lot of guys. We're just yeah. talking about Colin Kaepernick. He, yeah. he was, he was, his agent was, they reached out to his agent and. and yeah, approached the, the CFO. The Montreal the Alouettes. Yeah. They have his rights. My son played for Montreal for three years. Um, every person playing in the CFL, including my son, Deron, to be his fourth year there, they're playing in the CFL for a reason. It's because they can't get on to an NFL team. And or, I would say 99% of the players in the CFL don't have the talent to play in the NFL. Now, there are some guys that have played in the NFL, but they couldn't stay in the NFL. One, two, three, you're veterans in the NFL, but... 
the CFL, that's another opportunity. And Colin shouldn't have to play in the CFL. It's great to see that Colin is able to get some support by the most prominent, especially quarterbacks. Cam, that was nice because Cam didn't have this stance for a long time. So Cam, like a lot of people, reluctantly has been drug into this based on kind of the challenge that was issued last week by the president. So Cam, like a lot of other players, he was very uncomfortable. He went to ownership. He went to Mr. Richardson, had a heart-to-heart -heart talk with him. Then Cam came out with his statement and saying that there would be some type of demonstration of support this weekend. So, so that will be interesting going forward. But like a lot of players, Nick, you mentioned this. We don't have strong political views. Like sometimes we don't know how to express them. Now, as far as Colin Kaepernick, it seems as if a lot of people now are fighting his battle. He has more support than he's ever had. And uh, Jenna, you and I have gone back and forth with Nick. You know, should he talk? I do believe at some point there is no better voice for a person's concern than your own voice. It's going to be a time and point where Colin needs to speak for himself. And it's going to be coming up very, very soon because we've muddied the waters as far as social inequality and now national anthem. But I believe that the NFL through meetings with owners and other players, they're going to try to come up with something to be able to separate this. Malcolm Jenkins, safety for the Philadelphia Eagles, he's very clear as far as what this is really about. If you ever want to read something good, listen to a lot of his interviews. Doug Baldwin was on um, a news network the other night. Very, very clear as far as objectives of what people are trying to accomplish. But I believe that Cam, like a lot of other players, because they were forced, that now they will begin to support Colin in a way that, that we hadn't seen. But there is going to be a time and point, what I believe the breaking point, that Colin's going to have to speak for himself. Um, a few things. I, I don't know why there's going to come a time. I mean, if there's, if there's a time, in my opinion, this is the time. This is the time where both the sports world and the non-sports world attention is on the NFL. Politics, politicians focused on the NFL. People that were never fans of the NFL focused on the NFL. If, if, if Colin Kaepernick was kneeling because he wanted to bring attention to, to uh, an issue that he had, which by the way is an extremely important issue, and I do not want that to get lost on this, that I support fully why Colin Kaepernick was kneeling. My issue back then was the way he was protesting. My issue now is now that we're all listening, now that, you know, now that you did kneel, we're all listening, please say something. But take that aside. My question now is it seems very convenient to, for this to be the time that all these other players are coming out. I, I wonder why we didn't hear from these players last year. Out and of I, fear and for their job. Okay, out of fear. They for knew the it was a red, so, a red hot button issue in okay, fear for their job. Which takes away a little bit of the authenticity of what they're saying. I do believe they agree, but they didn't agree so much that they wanted to risk their sure, job. Sure, of any course, general, general. Everyone didn't sign up for that. I understand. So <laughs> just, hold on, just, but, but let's let's not let's not. It, what we do know is this: while there weren't as many players protesting prior to President Trump's comments, there were some. There were zero owners on board. So let's be fair here. Like if we're talking about, oh, it's an American issue. It's an important issue. And I thought Eric Reed had a brilliant point yesterday. Eric Reed, one of Kaepernick's teammates. Yes. Man that knelt with Kaepernick. Still Eric plays Reed, on San Francisco. Still, still a plays. starter. Eric Reed in a 20 second soundbite yesterday was outstanding. He said, I love football. Every single day I come into work. Yes. To try to get better at football. I love my country. To be the absolute best. Why would I not work every single day to try to improve my country the way I try to improve myself, 
my ability. He but also talked about the expectations of his job to be his absolute best and the pressure that he has every day to walk into that building, to live up to those expectations of the other great 49ers of past history. But this is where, and this is where we are just going to have something of a disconnect. I understand the logic behind. If there was ever going to be a time to talk, now would be the time to talk. I also have a bit of, if I may be, I guess this might sound a little sexist, but kind of old Italian male stubbornness in me. And I can see myself saying, you know what? I shouldn't have to. I, there, I cannot tell you how many times in my life I know things, whether it's in my marriage, just apologize. Even if you didn't do anything, just apologize. Make your life easier. If, if just, just go to the, how many times I've told, I've shown you emails, CC, work emails that I'm like, when I press send, this makes my life harder. Send it in anyway, based on principle. And I believe it's because I don't believe Colin to be an illogical guy. His principled stand is this is about, can I play? No interview will show anyone that I can play. So why should I have to talk? The conversation about whether Colin Kaepernick wants to play football, no. and, and don't scream and don't get mad. Let me just finish the question. Is that whether he wants to play football or is it whether he wants this to be the most important thing in his life right now? The issue I have is that we don't know. I don't know what the most important thing is. It's clearly not just to play football. He only wants to play in the NFL. And you make a very good point. You're right. You play in the CFL because you're not good enough yet to play in the NFL. But the NFL isn't calling to offer him a job. The CFL is calling. So if it's about playing football, go play football. No, if no, you no, want no, to no, make, no, if you no, want no. to make a statement, no, no. then just make a statement. No, no. And it is you shouldn't very play easy, in a league but, that but, is beneath okay. your skill level just because you're taking a, a political. Complain. What? But then don't complain that you're not playing. If it, you just want to play Whoa. football, play football. Wait a Whoa. Whoa, I'm just curious, this, Jenna. It's Hold on. Did, you, did you see Mike Glennon a, last night? Wait a second. I did, did you see him? And he struggled think, mightily. I understand. Jenna, Jenna, I understand he should be playing Jenna, football in every, the NFL. There's no, I don't have an issue no, but, with that. No, 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 but you do. He's, wait, stop, stop, stop. Can I finish my second yeah. Mike Glennon should be playing in the CFL. <laughs> did you tell him that? Uh, well, oh, no, they gave him $45 million uh, in Chicago. Well, uh, I didn't give him $45 million. I'm but just saying. But you're representing the case of I'm other players. I'm saying he wants two things. He wants to make sure that people understand what his cause is and why he started this. He wants to do what every other American wants to do. He wants to play at the highest it's, level okay. in every profession. That's what people do. You, other people aren't taking other jobs seemingly, just because they have a political stance. Seemingly every other person who's playing with him has been able to come out. Whether you, you said it, Cam Newton's not known for coming out and talking politics and expressing himself. You said a lot of players have a hard time no expressing himself. There's no better person themselves. to make an example of There's than the guy that no started it. Of right. course, of course, the that's, other guys aren't issue. being penalized for no, it of course not. because they did it with permission. Okay. And the idea that I want to say, not necessarily to you, but to anyone saying, why wouldn't you go play in the CFL? Do you know how many Americans right now are out of work with job offers, but it is beneath their skill level? There are a lot of people in yes. our profession who I promise you the local news in Wisconsin would love to hire them. But they're like, you know what? I was doing this on the biggest stage. I am not going to either belittle myself or take a job beneath my skill level. None of us, if, if any of us at this table got fired from this show tomorrow, we could be employed the next day. But it might be a job that we're like, you know what? I'm better than that. I've proven I'm better than that. I'm going to wait for the right job. And, the, the, and you have a right to. Is, I understand. It's it well is, within your right. And it is. Go ahead. It's well within your right mm -hmm. to do that. I don't know how badly he wants. This all goes back to my point. Okay, I don't well, know if Jenna he wants to play football or he only okay, well, wants then, to play then, in the NFL. Jenna, then you're not believing him. But then him speaking wouldn't matter. No, it because he has but said how do you, I it has never because been he said, Jenna, he does not, does not want to play football. And his agent has said he wants to play. He, you, don't, you believe Chris? Of he told Chris he wants to play. Of he just did an interview. You're asking him to talk. He did an interview with Sean King of the New York Daily News where he said not, he wants to play. Okay. So I, we know he wants to play. Wants to play. I, I don't know. What I don't know is how he feels about everything that's happening. And you, I just want to go back to your one point, and then we do have to break, which you said a lot of guys have a hard time expressing themselves. I fully understand that. There are a lot of issues that I'm not very good at expressing myself on. 
but it, it, it does not require, the, 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 the means by which one can express themselves does not require a, a, a gigantic platform. It does not require a, a 30 minute sit down with someone. It does not require coming on our show. It could be as Senator, simple as saying. I'm not gonna say you're wrong. Thank you. Because it's no, just your opinion. I know how you feel. And it's your just opinion can't opinion. be wrong. All right, but we disagree. Oh, I'm quite he re aware. Listen, he retweeted our segment about him, saying he wants to play and saying he's good enough to play. He didn't say anything. He retweeted a segment. Okay. Just just say something. Why is it the so thank difficult? You because he doesn't have to do what you want him he to do. He doesn't have and to. And it shouldn't You're keep right. him out of work. <laughs> it shouldn't keep him out of work. Well, it is keeping him out of work, and it no, shouldn't. No, it's keeping it. He, it Jenna, he can do a three-hour interview today on this show. He ain't getting no damn job. It is It is just, <laughs> it was free agency was keeping him out of work. The draft was keeping him out of work. There weren't any injuries were keeping him out of work. There's too many good quarters. Keeping, it's just the next thing. The and once he does the interview, work, guess what? He still ain't got no damn job. All right, we'll leave it at that. Coming up, the good news is we get to talk about this like two more times, which is going to be amazing. Coming up, has Ezekiel Elliott lost the oh. step already? Zeke. That is, you were mad again? Zeke. Zeke Calm down no a second. Get him, Nick. First things first, <laughs> back after this.